Hi, this is a quick little tour of our um, like little homeschool area for um, our daughter, basically. Um, she, this is a basement, it, as you can tell, see, it's not finished, but it's the most that I could do right now until we get this done. I, we actually have a TV, we, and like a little sofa here, but I did what I could. So what we have here is her desk. This desk I found at Goodwill for, I think it was $5, it was $10 and then I got 50% off. Here I have two chairs in case her son wants to use it. And here I have a little um, container for her to put books. Um, here's her um, drawer system. Those five, the one, two, the one, two, three, four, five are the subjects that she has to do every day. And then number six is the one that I rotate around according to the subjects. Um, we basically use this when in an actual um, from the month of September all the way to June. And then in the summer, since we do it upstairs, because they want the kids want to be upstairs, then I go to a different system. So this is more use in the school season time. She has right here a little um, with her name. And then this is where I put her letter of the day and words that we're working with. Here's her phonics radio. And we, um, I ask her to find the letter and push the button. And then she goes and says what it says. Here's her calendar. As you can tell, the last time we used it was in June 7th, which was her last day of school down here. We have her um, hooked on phonics. This was her pre-reading. She's doing the reading one now with her CLE reading. Numbers poster. And here is a shelf a bookcase that I have with the systems that we have so basically right here I have um, lap books that I have done file or in file folder um, games I, I need to label them on the outside but I haven't had the time this row right here is all for our daughter right now for kindergarten all the books and the items that she's requiring and this is for our son for second grade and then right here this bottom two, that one and this one are mixed and they're divided according to like, it's like extra curriculum that I have or, for, or future age groups. Here are here's some world book and then here's some books pertaining to, um, you know, ancient history, world history, space, things like that. Here at the bottom is I have more educational books on art, science geography, dinosaurs, any kind of books like that are there. This right here is pretty neat. Um, we use it on occasions if she wants to work in the floor. Um, right here is a little system that I have extra supplies for. Here at the side is a bunch of bins, shoe bins that I've labeled educational books, puzzles, links, busy bags, um, home supply, mom supplies, clothespins, special treats, busy bags, more things for that I could just grab and um, use. Supplies, uh, puzzles, signs, art, extra supplies. <laughs> I only get these when they're on sale for 25 cents or something like that. And I usually stock up for um, to use because we go through them a lot. Here is our son's filing system. One, two, three, four. And then the bottom. So four subjects are main and the bottom two are the ones that we rotate around. Um, here I usually have for them, you know, little phonic cards supplies posters I put them on rings and attach them here and here's for weather Let's 
seasons. And these are things that I get at the Dollar Tree. Planets, our son is really uh, interested uh, in planets and the stars. He's really interested in the Earth. And these are the numbers for our daughter. She knows all the way up to like 50 right now. And we move, you know, one little car at a time. She tells me the numbers. Supplies, supplies. This one, our son loved. Got this at Once Upon a Child, I think for $2.50. Okay. Okay, it's um, Letter Play, Sally the Bear. And it's just like a little book and it has letters. Then you match them and you read it according to the picture. And these are all games that we have. So this row, this row, this row, and right here. So you can tell our son, our kids love to play. And then here, it's foam letters and numbers that I got. I think I got this at Walmart. They're foam ones and I asked our daughter the, the week um, what letter, you know, for letter W. And she searches searches through here and she gets a letter W for me. And here is my just extra stuff, games, puzzles, the digestive system, thank you, Dollar Tree. And our daughter loves this one. The I Spy bag, the numbers, and she points it out, I just tell her I Spy, and then she gets them. Um, what else? And then here's more that container right there, and the bottom one is full of um, supplies. That one's supplies, and the bottom is notebooks and extra filing, books, art supplies. This is a bag that our son has. Extra notebooks that I have that I've used and no longer are using, and I'm just keeping them because I don't want to throw them away. And here's my um, chick items. We're getting our batch of chickens in two weeks, and of chicks, not chickens. So I'm getting prepped because they're, they're going to be down here. As you can tell, I have also a peep heated pad. They're going to be down here for um, the first few weeks, so that, um, they won't be outside and get, you know, with predators. It's dangerous. So we'll be keeping them down here. And they'll be staying right here. I'll do a little sh um, video about it later on when we get them. Okay. I hope you enjoyed our um, tour of our little homeschool area. It's small, but it's you know it's good for her, for her them for our kids. And we will talk to you guys later. Bye.